feel you have to look for and we hope to continue after that. We hope you'll find Today we're actually going to talk about the brain and how the brain is damaged and what happens to your brain when it is damaged. The brain is the one part of everyone's body that controls everything else about that body. It's a very important part of you, which is why we here at BIAK get so frustrated when we see people riding bicycles without helmets, and especially when we see parents without helmets and yet their children are all helmeted. The brain makes everything else about you work and it makes who you are who you are. So I want you to understand a little bit about the brain. It's divided into six different sections and each of those sections is represented here and we'll go through each, each specific section. The frontal lobe is right here in blue. This is the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe controls your personality and your behavior, your emotions and your problem solving, your reasoning skills, and your voluntary movement and expressive language. So when my brain tells my arm to wave at you, it's because of my frontal lobe telling things to happen. When the frontal lobe is damaged, the first thing that happens is that the emotions change. They can become very flat so that a person, even though they may be laughing, their face may not show laughter or they may laugh inappropriately or they may cry inappropriately at things that would not have been tearful to them before. The next part of the brain is the parietal lobe. And the parietal lobe actually controls our sense of touch, our spatial perception, and our visual perception. And it lets us look at things differently. So it allows me to look at a room and know whether my piece of furniture is going to fit in that room or whether my piece of furniture is far too large for the space that's in that room. It also allows me to know when something is itching my skin or if I've been pricked by something because that sense of touch will be affected. Um, when the parietal lobe is damaged, you lose your sense of touch, you could lose your sense of smell, you're not able to distinguish sizes or colors or even shapes. The occipital lobe is one of the smallest of the lobes and it obviously controls your vision. Damage to the occipital lobe can cause blurriness, it can cause one-sidedness. Frequently people that have damage to the occipital lobe may be able to see one side but not the other side. So for instance a man who is shaving might, be able, might think he has sh shaved both sides of his face when really he will only have shaved one side because he'll think that he sees the other side and that it has been shaved. Um, the temporal lobe is a large part of the brain and the temporal lobe is for processing information, it's for receptive language and it's for hearing and for memory. For many people who have brain injuries, the damage to the frontal lobe and the damage to the temporal lobe cause short-term memory. And that's a very common symptom of people with all types of brain injuries, whether it's from a crash or whether you've had um, a, a brain tumor or you've had some sort of abuse. So the, the damage to the temporal lobe really causes um, memory problems. They cause organizational difficulties. You may not be able to think through your day in a way that you've normally thought through your day in, because you've normally thought through it in a very organized fashion and your day just may be a jumble. You may not be able to go out to the parking lot and find your car because you can't remember where you parked it. Um, you may not be able to understand language so that 
a conversation that you may have with an individual, you may perceive that conversation entirely differently than the person who was relating that conversation to you had in mind. The, um, ox the cerebellum is here at the bottom of the brain. The cerebellum. And the cerebellum also includes the motor area. And damage to the cerebellum will cause you to lose your balance. It could cause you to fall. It co could cause you to lose some coordination. Um, the motor area is very important to your balance and to the way that you function and your mobility functions. Um, the last area, the brain stem. Mm. is really what controls all of our vital functions, our breathing, our heartbeat. It pumps the blood through our veins. So damage to the brainstem results in all kinds of other systems failures. You could have difficulty with your heart rate. You can have difficulty breathing. Your consciousness may be involved. Um, arousal and sleep and awake functions will be involved. You may have trouble with attention um, and, and concentration. All that has to do with areas in the brain stem. There's a lot of information available about the brain. If you want a, an easy way to see how easy it is to um, damage your brain, hard boil an egg. Take that egg and just drop it on the floor and see what happens to the shell. That's what can happen to your brain. I'm Melinda Mast signing off.